In this demonstration, you will learn how to create an API URL test in BlazeMeter. Let me first log in into the BlazeMeter application. Note that if you're a first time user, you must register by providing a valid first name, last name and email address. Now, before we create a test, we will create a new project to work in. Let's just give this project a name. And go ahead and create a new test, URL API test. Now I'm going to call this test case as HTTP URL test. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and configure the endpoints against which the test will be executed. My first endpoint is going to be our Blaze demo website. I'm going to put in a label for the endpoint and type in the URL. And this is going to be a simple GET request. I'm now going to go ahead and add another endpoint. Give it a label. And put in the endpoint URL. Let's also do some uh, load configuration. Uh, starting first with the originate load from. I'm going to set that to Asia Pacific. And I'm also going to go ahead and set the maximum number of users for the load test by setting the value of threats to 50. Please note that if you have a free tier account in BlazeMeter, you will not be able to add engines to your test. There are a couple of more configurations here that we can do, but we're going to talk about them in our next labs. For now, we're going to go ahead and save the test. And once you do that, you will notice a play option here against your test name. Let's click on it to begin execution and launch the service. It will take a couple of minutes before the actual execution of the test begins. Now you can see the test has started and there are multiple tabs to view different reports. The Home tab has uh, metrics like average response time, throughput, average uh, bandwidth, maximum virtual users. You will also notice that as per our load configuration, the number of virtual users will continue to ramp up for about 300 seconds, after which it will stabilize to 50 for the remaining 15 minutes or so. Let's wait for the test execution to complete. All right, now that the test execution has completed, uh, let us look at the executive summary report. Here you can observe uh, the top five slow responses, top five errors, test setup details, timeline graphs for concurrent users and hits, for concurrent users and response times, aggregate report, error report, generally response times and hits per seconds. At this time, you can change the report name or you can also add a logo instead of the BlazeMeter logo here before you decide to publish this into a PDF or send it out to your stakeholders. This completes the demo on creating an API URL test. Thanks for watching.